Do you know how to effectively build an emergency fund? Well, if not, we're going to provide you with some really useful tips today. So go ahead and stay locked in. Hi, my name is Carson Graves, certified financial planner and president and CEO of the Retirement Education Center. And I want to welcome you once again to our Tuesday tips. And today we are going to be covering a very important topic that you really do need to take note of in order to have financial success. And that is how to build an effective emergency fund. Now, whether you are trying to save up for a big purchase like a home or you're just trying to build wealth, having an effective emergency fund is going to allow you to do it easier. So we're going to talk about some tips on how you can do this. So let's go ahead and jump into our lesson today. Now, the first tip that I want to give you today in order to build an effective emergency fund is for you to create a budget. That means that you need to track your expenses. When it comes to tracking your expenses, it's going to let you know where your money is going. You need to start breaking out things like your rent, your mortgage payments, that morning coffee that we all love, eating out, your subscriptions that you may have, your bills, etc. You need to make sure that you understand where your money is going and track those expenses. Now, of course, if you're incapable of tracking your own expenses, there are free apps that you can download like Rocket Money, YNAB, which stands for You Need a Budget. You can download the app Empower, or better yet, you can also just use your bank like I do by just simply highlighting your debits for the month to make sure that you understand where all of your expenses are going to. Once you finally understand all of your expenses, you need to go ahead and allocate these expenses into different categories, like what you pay for groceries, utilities, entertainment, what you're putting in savings. You can also break out these expenses as discretionary or non-discretionary expenses. Discretionary expenses are things that you can do without. Non-discretionary expenses are things that you cannot do without. Now, the next tip that I want to give you in order for you to build an effective emergency fund is to try to consider ways to boost your income. Yes, I know this is always easier said than done, but you at least have to try. You may want to go in and ask your employer for a raise at work, or you may want to take on some freelance projects or consider starting a side hustle in order to generate some additional income for yourself. If you are able to do this, you can use that extra money to save more and or pay off any bad debts that you may have, like debts on a credit card. And the last tip that I want to give you in order for you to build an effective emergency fund is to consider automating your savings. That means setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account each and every payday. If you are able to do this, you are making sure that you are paying yourself first before you've had a chance to spend that money anywhere else. Now, if you are someone who may not be as disciplined, I would encourage you just to start small and then gradually increasing those amounts along the way until you get a little bit more comfortable in building up that emergency fund. So the moral of this video is that if you're talking about the definition of a good emergency fund, make sure that you have anywhere between three to six months of your expenses stacked away somewhere. It is also very important to remember that when it comes to building wealth, it is a marathon and not a sprint. So you do have to stay disciplined in this process. Please note that these videos are created for educational purposes only and that you should always seek out your own financial advisor your own tax advisor and your own attorney regarding your personal situation. Also, if you are looking for an independent fiduciary advisor to help you with these types of complex financial matters, we highly recommend that you utilize the links in our description below and go ahead and schedule a one hour free consultation with us today. And we will also like to hear from you. Let us know what your thoughts are regarding this particular subject matter and leave any questions or comments in the section below. And if you found this information to be beneficial, all that we ask is that you subscribe to this channel so it can continue to grow, like this video, and share it with others.